Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, I'm going to continue talking about how I create video tutorials by focusing on the recording process. If you haven't done so already, go check out my previous video on choosing a topic and preparing a script. You can find the link to that video in the video description below. When you're creating video tutorials, the audio is as important, if not more important, than the video itself. What you want to do is get a microphone that you can place close to your mouth that also will not pick up any extra background noise. For this video, I'm using a lavalier microphone which clips onto my shirt, but for other videos, I use a handheld Shure SM58. Depending on what kind of microphone you're using, you'll either be able to plug it directly into your computer or camera, or you will need a sound card or mixer that will be plugged into your computer. To record your computer screen, you don't just want to point a camera at the screen itself. What you want to do is to get a program that will record the screen directly and put that into a video file. Depending on what operating system you're using, there's going to be different choices that will be available to you on which one you want to use. If you're on Windows, you can use Cam Studio or a host of applications that allow you to do live web streaming like Open Broadcaster software. There's also Camtasia, which runs on both Windows and Mac. If you're on a Mac, you can use programs like iShowYou or ScreenFlow. If you want to try your hand at video tutorials, but you're not sure if it's something that you want to get into, you can also use the latest version of the QuickTime player that will allow you to record your screen. Depending on how much you want to spend, you'll get different features. So what I would suggest you do is compare the features and pricing of all the different options that you have and come up with the choice that is best for you. Personally, my favorite is ScreenFlow. One of the great things about ScreenFlow is that it will allow you to record your computer screen, the sound that's coming out of your computer speakers, an additional audio input, and an additional video input all at the same time. In some of my video tutorials, I use both the screen recording and video that I shoot on my DSLR. Now, when you're using multiple sources of video together, you want to make sure that there is an easy way to sync them up. For me, I like to do this with an audio cue. So at the beginning of each video that I'm using more than one video source, I'll clap my hands so that the audio is picked up on both my camera and my computer. Then I'll go ahead and sync the two later in my editing program. The next video in this series on creating video tutorials will focus on editing your video and then compressing it to the web. That is going to be posted on Wednesday, June 19th. So subscribe at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or at the djpodcast.com to be notified when that video goes live. Thanks for watching.